So you probably want to run AI on your computer without paying the clouds. And you've come across Olama and LM Studio. In this video, I'm going to review them and tell you which one worth your money and your time. So make sure to watch this video till the end because I mentioned the important tips at the end of the video. Most people think these tools are basically the same. Download a model, run some prompts, done. But that belief leaves out the huge differences that affect the speed, ease of use, and even what you can do with AI once it's running. In this video, I'll break down the five real differences that matter. One, interface. Two, performance. Three, integration and customization. Four, open versus closed ecosystem. And finally, who each tool is actually best for. I've tested both on Mac, Windows and Linux setups, and I've pulled real user feedbacks from tech blogs, benchmarks, and firms. So what you'll hear today isn't theory, it's based on what people are actually experiencing. Now let's start with performance on your hardware. Running an AI model locally is only useful if it runs smoothly. If it's lagging, you'll stop using it. Olama is super lightweight and screams on Apple Silicon hitting around 70 tokens per second on some models. But on Windows laptops with basic GPUs, it slows down. LM Studio meanwhile optimized better across hardware. Some users report 80 tokens per second on the same Macs and even on integrated GPUs, it holds up better. So here's the deal. If you got a high performance workstation or Mac, Olama is excellent. But if you're on a standard Windows laptop or mini PC, LM Studio will probably give you a smoother ride. But speed isn't everything. The way you actually interact with the tool changes whether you even want to use it day to day or not. And that brings us to the interface. You install an AI model and now you're staring at a black terminal window versus a polished chat app. That's the Olama versus LM Studio experience. Olama is command line only. It's fantastic if you're a developer, you can script it, automate it, connect it to tools, but if you're new, it feels empty. LM Studio, on the other hand, launches like ChatGPT in an app. You point, click, download, and chat. No add-ons required. This isn't just about the preference. This interface decides whether you will actually adopt local AI as part of your daily workflow or not. Developers thrive in Olama. Beginners stick with LM Studio because it feels alive the moment you open it. Okay, but what if you're not just chatting? What if you want to actually build with AI? That's where integration and customization come in. Tools aren't just about chatting. They're about what you can build on top of them. Olama shines here. It has a strong API, open configuration files, and deep customization. You can pipe it into VS Code Langchain or any project. LM Studio does have an API, but it's more like Open's AI Playground. Great for testing, but limited for full apps. So if you're serious about development, Olama becomes a platform. LM Studio stays a polished sandbox. Now let's zoom out. This isn't just a developer versus beginner thing. It's about ecosystem. Who controls the tool you're using? With AI, this matters more than ever. Olama is open source. You can see the code, edit it, and trust that nothing is secretly sent online. LM Studio is closed source. It's free to use, but you can't peek under the hood or extend it much beyond what's provided. If long-term privacy and control matter, Olama's transparency is unbeatable. If you value polish and stability, LM Studio's closed ecosystem won't bother you. So after all these differences, which one should you actually use? The biggest mistake is asking which is better. The right question is which is better for me? If you're a developer who wants flexibility, automation, and open source freedom, Olama is the tool. If you're a beginner or casual user who just want fast, private AI chats, LM Studio is the easy winner. And here's the best part. You don't have to guess. Both are free to install. Test them on your own machine and see which one clicks. So if this breakdown helped you, hit the like button and see you on the next video.